We all know that billionaire Elon Musk has plans to take humans to Mars and colonize the planet. For years, the planning of this project has been taking place, and 2022 seems to be the year for the first Mars launch to take place. So, is it possible to create an Earth-like base on another planet? And did Elon Musk reveal when humans will actually land on the red planet? We will be telling you all about it in today's video, so stick around to the end to find out all about it. We have all heard stories about how the Earth is slowly decaying. Rising temperatures and increased melting of the glaciers are eventually going to force humans to either succumb to the destruction or move on to another planet. And that is exactly where Elon Musk comes in. With plans to colonize the planet and make humanity multi-planetary, he certainly has his goals set and has been working actively with his team over at SpaceX to make this mission successful. So how did the Mars mission begin? Before we tell you about that, we'd like to get you in on the real mind-blowing conspiracy theory. In 1953, Werner von Braun, who was the leading figure of rocket-building technology during Nazi Germany, published a book called Mars Project. What shocked the world was that he had written a line in this book, which would literally translate to, Elon would lead humans to Mars and crown himself Martian Emperor. Now, that is shocking because this book was published 18 years before Musk was even born. For quite a while, people took this conspiracy theory and believed that Musk is a time traveler who has come to the present to lead humans to Mars. What do you think of it? But let's not distract ourselves from the main topic now, Mission Mars, and let's check out its history. Elon Musk and SpaceX started the Mars Initiative to make it easier to colonize Mars in the future. The aspirational objective of SpaceX has been to land the first humans on Mars by 2024. But Elon Musk announced in October 2020 that 2024 would be the target date for an uncrewed trip. Elon Musk stated at the Axel Springer Award 2020 that he is very convinced that the first crewed trips to Mars will take place in 2026. Which spacecraft does Musk plan on using for the Mars program? The answer to this question is simple. It's the one and only Starship. Starship is expected to be the world's largest rocket, and it's the brainchild of SpaceX's masterminds. Potential hazards to mankind, such as global warming and asteroid collisions, are the cause behind the creation of Starship, along with the objective to make humanity multiplanetary. Musk has expressed his desire to be the brain behind the creation of life on Mars, saying, The alternative is to become a spacefaring civilization and a multiplanetary species, which I hope you would agree is the right way to go. Till now, the Saturn V of NASA was the biggest rocket that humans had ever witnessed, but after prototype testing and launching, it is official that the Starship is set to break the record for the largest rocket ever witnessed by humans. With a height of 394 feet, equal to the Great Pyramid of Giza, and a weight of 150 tons, the Starship is a fully reusable rocket that will soon be on its trip to Mars, and has caught the interest of all space fans. The Starship will have a massive interior that can accommodate up to 100 people. This SpaceX project is scheduled to fly in the next six months, as per the SpaceX website. And if everything goes well, SpaceX will make a dent in NASA's long and illustrious history. The Starship will be the most powerful rocket to orbit the Earth, with roughly 29 to 32 Raptor engines capable of generating around 7.3 million kilograms of thrust, and that's only in the first stage. The Starship will be using Methalox, a mix of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, to run its engines. Apart from that, the ultimate benefit of using Methalox is its reusability. Unlike most rockets, including the Saturn V, which require fuel changes after the first launch, the first and second stages of the Methalox Starship will be 100% reusable. Methalox, according to current estimations, can launch Starship 1,000 times. However, until we have an opportunity to see for ourselves, we will reserve judgment. However, how ridiculous would it be to think that rockets will go from having to change fuels after every launch to possibly never having to produce a new fuel in a few years? Now, let's get into the propellant plant and base for Mars. Musk wants to create a crewed base on Mars for a long-term presence on the surface, which he thinks will eventually turn into a self-sustaining colony. 
a successful colonization would entail many more economic actors like individuals, businesses, and governments in order to allow the expansion of human presence on Mars over many decades. Because the starships are also reusable, Musk intends to refuel them first in low Earth orbit, then on the surface of Mars before returning to Earth. He intends to launch multiple starships in the first phase to carry and assemble a propellant plant and begin constructing a base. The propellant factory would make methane and liquid oxygen from subsurface water ice and atmospheric carbon dioxide. Two robotic cargo missions, the first of which may be called Heart of Gold, are set to fly in 2022 with the goal of delivering a vast array of solar panels, mining equipment, as well as surface vehicles, food, and life support infrastructure. In addition, the mission design called for four more starships to be launched in 2024, two robotic cargo flights and two crewed flights to set up the propellant manufacturing facility deploy the solar park, landing pads, and assemble greenhouses. In addition to the spaceship's dry mass of 85 tons, each landing mass would have at least 100 tons of useful payload. Because they will have life support systems, the first temporary homes will be their own crewed starships. However, wherever possible, the robotic starship cargo planes will be refueled for their return trip to Earth. For a long-term base, it is recommended that the landing zone be less than 40 degrees latitude for optimal solar power production, a modest temperature, and most importantly, close to a large subsurface water ice deposit. Water ice must be of sufficient amount and quality. According to a preliminary SpaceX analysis, the propellant plant would need to mine one ton of water ice every day and filter out its contaminants. The total power required to manufacture a single full load of fuel for a SpaceX Starship is estimated to be in the vicinity of 16 gigawatt hours of locally produced Martian power. It would take just under one megawatt of continuous electric power to power one load for 26 months. A ground-based array of thin film solar panels capable of generating enough power would cover just over 56,200 square meters, and the required mass would be well within the range of a single Starship Mars transport capability of 150 metric tons. Alternatively, based on recent NASA research into reactor designs for deep space missions, sufficient fission reactor-based electric power infrastructure might weigh between 210 and 216 metric tons, requiring at least two starships to transport. A Mars power system based on solar and vertical axis wind turbine architecture might weigh just over 3.15 metric tons to generate enough power. 